Hi, and welcome back. Let's explore the case how Julia recently helped her colleague Rajesh automate the process of extracting data from a website using AI and saving it to the Google Sheet. Just like this, but with AI. She wanted to share how they did it, so others could apply the same technique to their own project. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to use AI to extract data from websites and the step-by-step -step process of automating data extraction. Lastly, we will cover how to leverage the power of AI to streamline workflows with live web data. So, Julia builds this automation for Rajesh in Make. Let's create the scenario together. We'll first log in to make.com and open our scenario builder. Then we look for an HTTPS module. Use the HTTPS module to fetch the web content, in other words, to bring the text on that web page into your scenario. For this, you need to paste the URL in the first field and then set the method to get. It will now return the plain HTML content of the website, as you can see here. Now let's convert the HTML to plain text using the Tools module. In this module, all you have to do is map the HTML text you received from your previous module. Then to extract the contents into a usable form, you can pass it to Anthropic. Select App of Anthropic. We first define the model, in my case, Claude 3.5 Sonnet and the max number of tokens, which define how long the expected output should be. In our case, we could get a long output from our website, so it's better to choose a higher number of tokens, like 4,000. Here, we now add the prompt with instructions to extract the titles and excerpts into a JSON format. We will show the details of our prompt a little later in this video, so don't worry about it now. Now we need to parse the JSON output from the AI using the JSON module, so I will just map the response from Anthropic into this field. No need to worry about creating the data structure now, and add the extracted data as rows in a Google Sheet using the Google Sheets module. Now let's set up the Google Sheet. We copy the ID here from the URL bar. We paste it in the Spreadsheet ID field. Now we select the sheet's name, which is in that case Legal News, and set the column range. A to Z is enough here. After this, we take the JSON module's output and map it into Google Sheet. Once we finish setting up the Google Sheets, let's go through the process step by step again. First, the HTTP module retrieves the web page content. Check their HTML here. Next, the Tools module converts the HTML to markdown text, making it simpler to process and allows us to stay in the AI's token context window. Now for the magic. In the Anthropic module, we provided clear instructions with a prompt to the AI. Our prompt says, extract the following information from the provided HTML. Find all the article headlines within H2 tags that have a link. For each headline, extract the text of the headline as the title field. Extract the text content of the immediately following paragraph tag as the excerpt field. This now returns a collection of title and excerpt. So we now need to compile the extracted data into a JSON object with keys title and excerpt for each article to actually work with it inside Make. It is useful for the AI to always provide few shot examples, like seen here, an example of the desired JSON output format. This approach we can strongly recommend to Rajesh. We should also add to the end that the AI should not return anything else than the JSON, so we avoid errors where a plenty of other information is returned. The AI does now the heavy lifting, and the JSON module parses the structured data as we wanted it. Let's save the data in the Google Sheets module. There, it adds each title and excerpt as a new row in Rajesh's spreadsheet. Great, we are finally ready to run the whole scenario. We can see that it worked. The latest blog post titles and excerpts automatically extracted and added to Rajesh's spreadsheet. So to sum up what we did in this use case, by leveraging the power of AI, Julia and Rajesh turned unstructured web data into structured data that Rajesh could use in his automations. This is just one example of how one can use AI to streamline workflows and stay on top of important information. Congratulations on mastering this use case, and we look forward to guiding you through the AI world in our other videos.